Hello friends, welcome to Circle Time. I am Caroline from the Khan Academy Kids team. And today I'm here with my friend Sophie. Hi Sophie. Hi Caroline. Hi friends. I am so happy that you could join us for Circle Time with Khan Academy Kids today. How are you feeling? Huh, that's good. Caroline, our friends seem very excited to be here, happy, and like they want to do some activities and some reading, please. Sure, let me pull up my book. So today we are gonna read Autumn at the Orchard by Cynthia Platt. It was still dawn, but Cody had already arrived at Olo's house. Olo's dad was taking them apple picking. The orchard was far away, so they had to get on the road early. On the way, they played games and listened to an audiobook. The drive was fun at first, then it felt as if it was never going to end. Finally, they pulled into the orchard. There was an autumn festival happening. Where do we go first, Alo asked. Wow, that looks like fun, friends. I want a caramel apple, Cody exclaimed. Alo's dad didn't think that was a good idea because it was still so early in the day. Let's go to the playground instead, Alo suggested. They pushed each other on the swings and played on the seesaw. They stayed at the playground until lunchtime. Then they sprawled out on the grass to eat sandwiches and drink cold apple cider. A bluegrass band played awesome music. The audience burst into applause. Cody and Olo clapped along too. After lunch, they picked some apples. They filled their bag with red, green, and tawny brown ones. There were so many different kinds, Cody said. I know, Alo agreed as he munched on a small green apple. I can't wait to try one of each. Ooh, so many different colored apples. Which are your favorites? Mmm, I love green apples and it seems like some of our friends like green apples too. And some of our friends like red apples and then I'm just learning from our friends that there are other colors of apples too, like a really golden yellow apple. Paulo pointed to a tractor drawn hayride. Can we take that back to the festival, he asked his dad. The wagon was old and full of straw. What a fun ride. Afterward, they walked back to the car with their apples. Just as they were about to leave, Cody remembered something. We still need to get caramel apples, she exclaimed. They walked to the stand and bought two candy apples. Yum, said Olo, I almost forgot. By the time they got in the car, Cody and Olo were exhausted. They yawned as they ate their caramel apples. Let's do this again next autumn, Olo suggested but Cody had already fallen asleep next to him. Should we take a look at some of the words in this book? Let's see, we have some words in this book that have the A-U in it that make the AW sound, like autumn. This is the autumn festival. And Audience, can you hear the awe ah in audience? Mm -hmm. And applause. And the letters A, W also make the awe ah sound like seesaw. And straw. And Yawn also has the awe sound, A-W. They were yawning and they were very tired at the end of the day. 
All right, Sophie, should we count some of our apples like they had at the Autumn Festival? Yes, I think we should. Have you got yours ready there, Caroline? I do. Okay. What colors do you have? I have a red apple, one red apple, and a green apple. Oh, wow. And I have one that is partly red and partly yellow. Oh, wow. And another one that's mostly yellow. A darker green apple, sort of darker. And I have another red apple that has a big patch of yellow on it. So how many do we have? Hmm, should we count them, friends? Let's start with yours, Caroline. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I might find some more. Let's see. Seven. <gasps> eight. I have another one. Nine. Nine. What does it look like to have nine apples? That's a lot of apples. You have four and I have five. And four plus five makes nine. That's a lot of apples. You know who also likes to count? I know lots of people who like to count. Who? Well, you're right. A lot of our friends like to count. And one of our friends, Peck, especially likes to count. Should we do some counting with Peck? Yes, I love counting with Peck. Do you know what number I'm thinking about? Count the dots to find out. The last number you say is the number of dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> the number I was thinking about was nine. Nine is a great number. All right, let's count his dots. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. You counted nine. And this is the number nine. Let's trace it together. If you have a piece of paper or you can trace it with me in the air. Ready? Here we go. We're going to go around and then up and then down to make the nine. Super. You traced the number nine. Can we find the number nine? Nine. Nine. You found the number nine. That was fun counting. Thank you for counting with us, friends. Great job, friends. Caroline, did you know that we were going to have nine apples and then Peck was going to count the number nine? <laughs> I don't know, but I actually even have another surprise, maybe a little bit related to nine again, but this time you're going to have to come down to my kitchen with me. Do you want to come? Yes. I'll see you in a minute. I'll meet you in my kitchen. Hi friends. I'm in my kitchen now. So the other day a friend came by and they gave us Amazing gift. Do you know what it is? It's an egg of some sort. Have you ever seen such a big, shiny egg? And it's really heavy, much heavier than regular eggs. They also gave us these eggs. So these are chicken eggs. And I think. Friends, does anyone have a guess? 
What kind of egg is this? It's huge. It must have come from a very, very big bird. Friends, what's the biggest kind of bird you can think of? Maybe an ostrich? I think, you know, an ostrich is very, very tall. Probably about three feet taller than me. So if I were talking to an ostrich, I would be looking way up. Hello, ostrich. And so it makes sense that a big bird would have a big, heavy egg like this. Let's compare it with the chicken eggs here. How many chicken eggs do you think would make up the size of an ostrich egg? Oh, can put them all together? Maybe more than 10, or maybe even 20. I don't know, a, a chicken egg is very light and delicate, but this ostrich egg, I've heard it is you know, very hard to crack open. I will have to try that later. So let's count how many chicken eggs I have here. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, Ooh, they're rolling, five, six, seven, and eight. So I have eight chicken eggs and one big ostrich egg. So how many eggs in total does that make? I think it's nine. Should we look at some of the other fruits and vegetables that I have here today? Hmm, it looks like I have a rainbow of fruits and vegetables. Anyone know what this one is? This one is multicolored. It has some yellow, some orange, and some red. It's a nectarine, a very delicious sweet fruit. And I also have a red, anyone know what this one is? Tomato. You can put that in our salad or make it with pasta. And I have a grapefruit here, which is kind reddish orangish in some parts it's yellow a citrus fruit is a grapefruit and this one friends you know what this is this is a peach and here friends you know what these are these are called cherry tomatoes but they're not really cherries they're just mini tomatoes and they're what's the color I think it's orange. Should we count them? Let's see how many we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six cherry tomatoes. And remember we had seven, eight eggs. So do we have more eggs or do we have more cherry tomatoes? I hear some friends saying we have more eggs, especially if you count that one, the ostrich egg. All right, moving down the rainbow here. We have a banana, yellow banana. Let's see, this banana is, let's compare the size of the banana to the ostrich egg. It's lighter than the ostrich egg, which is heavier but it is a bit longer than the ostrich egg. Can you see that, Benz? A bit longer. All right, this one was from a tree in my backyard. I don't know if friends would know what this is. It is sweet and juicy on the inside, and it is called an apple pear. So it's not an apple, and it's not a pear, it's a combination. So somebody was able to make a tree that can make apple pears. So they're kind of juicy like apples and sweet like pears. Oh, this one. These are my little bok choy. And they're green. And the 
these are all fruits here. Let's see the vegetables. All right, and I have these peppers. So with peppers, sometimes they're very spicy. So you can only eat a little bit. But you eat some peppers are sweet. I don't know about, about these. I'll have to cut them open to see. And then what is this blue fruit? It is, these are blueberries. And this one is, actually, maybe I should have put it over here. It's a very, very dark green, and it's an avocado. I will show you my avocado plant someday. I don't have it here right now. Um, but it has a big seed inside to make it into an avocado plant. And then moving down here, we have our purple plum. And finally, we have a white garlic. And the garlic grows in the soil underground. And that you can put in your pasta too and make it very tasty. Well, thank you friends. And let's go back to circle time now. Okay friends, we're back. So that was fun to look at that big ostrich egg. Have you ever seen one like that before? No, I grew up on a farm and I've never seen an egg that big. There were lots of eggs on my farm, Caroline, but none the size of an ostrich egg. So I was wondering if the egg is that big, what kind of a bird laid that egg? It is a very big bird. Let me show you it from my bird book. So this bird on the right side at the bottom is an ostrich and it is very very tall and this book is saying that it is also very fast it can sprint over 40 miles per hour on land wow so it's a big bird and it's <laughs> a speedy bird too that's very cool is so we did a lot today friends and to wrap up we have some special projects to show you that some of our friends have sent us so should we do our show and tell yes so this is Annalise and she did this project um, that she's holding it is a wishing well and wishing well starts with the what sound the letter W and she did this after she learned about the letter W. Thank you, Annalise. And this drawing uh, was sent to us by Vithi. Friends, you know what it is? Oh, I think it's such a cool picture of a sausage dog. I love the spots and the coloring that Bithy did. Yeah, wow. And we have one more dog uh, project that Ezra sent us and we're gonna show it to you now. I got, I got the thought of a dog of making a little puppy because of this one book that my dad loved to me. Oh, the yellow. They got a new puppy and the little puppy had blue spots and they still look. Bluish black colored spots. So this is the puppy. Okay. Close this marker since I made this box. Now I'm gonna make this the face. See guys, this is what it looks like. And this is a project that Imuna sent us. It's an animal. Does anyone know what animal this is? I think it's an armadillo. Oh, an armadillo. Wow. Yes. And I like how she did the tail and long tail in the back and all the different pieces to put together the armadillo. So do I. I love that. Yeah. Thank you, Imuna. 
And Imuna and Eli also sent us their art box that they created as part of their workspace. Wow, that is a great place to store all of your craft supplies and things for making things. Great job. I know, I love it because what they can do, it looks like, is they can take this box to different places and so that they have a workspace wherever they go, just like teacher Amy taught us. Wow, thank you. That is a great idea. I might try that at home. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, friends, for sharing all your projects with us. And it's time for us to say goodbye for now, but we will see you next time. Goodbye from Caroline, Sophie, and the Khan Academy Kids team. Bye, friends. Bye, Caroline. Bye-bye.